Hello everyone, this is Crypto Gibby. I want to thank you for visiting my channel today. This is where we talk about all things cryptocurrency, but most importantly, building in the crypto space. Before we begin, please go ahead and take a moment to hit that like button for the video today. Definitely will appreciate it. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well, and also turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Before we get started, I wanna talk about Brave Browser just for a moment. This is a browser that's comparable to Chrome. I am absolutely loving this browser. If you love Chrome, you're gonna love Brave. It's basically everything you have in Chrome minus the ad and the ad trackers. So Brave has a built-in ad blocker, so it blocks all the ads that you don't wanna see. But additionally, if you do choose to use ads, you can view Brave sponsored ads. And every time you view an ad on Brave, you're gonna be paid for viewing that ad in crypto and their own native basic attention token. So if you're interested, I got a link in the description. Definitely go ahead and download Brave. I can guarantee you'll love it. All right, guys, so we want to start off today by looking at the market data. So right now we got Bitcoin that's up 0.09%. Uh, Ethereum is up 0.44%. Uh, we got, let's see, XRP Ripple is down. Most everything is down after that. XRP is down, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Litecoin, Binance and EOS. All right, so something I did notice in the in past couple of days, because you guys know, last couple of days we've had quite a run on the crypto market. So everything has been up. So we are going to have a little pullback as of right now. Don't know if we're going to continue going up, but you know, time will tell. We'll see what's going on because we, Bitcoin is trying to, uh, trying to challenge that 10K resistance we're going to see what's going to happen if we're going to get to it or we're going to get rejected again but there is one thing that i want to pay attention on is that uh tezos and cardano i think in the next couple of months these two tokens here are going to be battling uh for the number 10 spot uh, because when we did have the the run the last couple of days cardano did overtake tezos for i think about a day or so and since Cardano and Tezos have such a very close market cap right at the moment, I think the two are going to be going back and forth over the next couple of days, weeks, and months to see who can establish themselves as the clear top winner for those two. Well, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, let's see who we got as the top gainers today. Uh, Zilliqa is up by 18.3%. 18.36%. That's nice. Uh, Amisa Go is at 13.28%. Uh, loop ring is 10.58 we got a halo and engine is doing up very nice if you guys don't know engine actually came out with some news they have built an engine or a platform that you can plug in as a plug-in actually that you can plug into minecraft where you can build out tokenized items in the game that's a very nice thing that that's going to be going on that's going to be going on further with engine and minecraft i may take a look at that to see further what's going on Let's go ahead and look at the top losers today. We got Matic at work. Now, I do know, I've seen them in the news. I don't know anything about this token here, but I see them in the news quite a lot. And then we got Digibyte, uh, Blockstack, and Ravencoin, and Hive is still down. Hive is still, in it, still going down as well. All right, guys, so moving on to the next topic. I want to talk about this tweet here I, I found uh, from Bitcoin Liz. Uh, so I'm just going to read this out to you. What action would you take? Imagine you work with computers in the 1990s. Imagine you worked with the internet in the 2000s. Imagine you worked with mobile apps in 2010s. Do you see the missed opportunities? Likely you have a new chance. Crypto is your chance in 2020s. Man, when I, when I seen this tweet here, it really struck me. Like, it really did. Because I was just getting into computers in late 1990s. Uh, 97, 98, this is when I got into computers. I was deeply involved highly involved with the internet i did so much stuff in the 2000s dealing with a lot of stuff with the internet and when the mobile apps came around in 2010 i was around wanted to set i wanted to do mobile app development and i really never got into it so when i seen this part where it says do you see all the missed opportunities i see them and i see them very vividly very vividly so when crypto is around now i am going to take full advantage of this opportunity that i got right now because you're able to build in this niche right now because it's not, as, it's not as saturated as many people think. A lot of people don't know about crypto right now. 
And so when I see crypto, I really see the similarity with crypto in a mobile app sector. So we have a lot of cryptocurrencies, Ethereum, Tezos, Cardano, EOS. These are different platforms. And just like with the mobile apps, when you had um, Android, iOS, the big, the big players right now, but you once time you had Facebook platform, you had BlackBerry. All of these different platforms are going to require you to build to build services on each platform. So there's definitely a, a, a opportunity here. So with this opportunity, like I said, I am not waiting around for this. I'm not going to let this one pass me by. I'm definitely trying to build. So with that being said, like I said, I am trying to build out my uh, platform here, uh, CryptonightWorld.com. With this platform, I want to offer a lot of services and tools here to help out uh, beginners to advanced crypto users. So one of the first things I want to do is one of the services I do plan to offer right now is offering staking pools. As of right now, I build out my staking servers. It started out with Ethereum, but since Ethereum 2.0 has been delayed a little bit, in which I think it was delayed, but I thought I saw some news earlier. I didn't get a chance to, to review it, that maybe Ethereum may not be delayed, but I got to take a little bit further into that. But as of right now, I'm going to take a put that on the backseat. I'm going to focus on Cardano staking because that should be available, I believe, at the end of I think it was june or july i think it was the end of july so i'm going ahead and focus on that one then i'm going ahead and go focus on ethereum but this is going to be one of the offers i want i do want to start out with kryptonite world the next thing i want to build out is a blogging slash news platform so i'm definitely trying to search for content creators anybody who make youtube videos who or who want to make youtube videos any type of long form short form bloggers i'm actually looking for people who do educational series as in people who do who are into investing probably financial advisors anybody i want to put this content on the website and once we get all this built up i want to go ahead and focus on well i don't, I don't want to say once i get things built up i'm going to try to build everything tandem with each other but as of right now you see down here at the bottom i do have bitcoin calculated prices and everything down here the cryptocurrency prices i want to go ahead and build out a market platform on the side as well something you see similar to coin market cap coin perpica then from there maybe do some on-chain on-chain analysis on the site a lot of things maybe even probably a portfolio manager there's a limited possibility that we can do with the site that's one of the main reasons i've started this channel is because i don't want to be one of the ones who sit back being crypto and just investing buying and selling crypto to make a profit or lose profit i want to be a builder in the space i want to build something that I can call my own that I can say that we call our own because in this space, I'm trying to be greedy. I really am. I've heard this the other day. I'm trying to be greedy. I'm trying to get as much as I can. At the same time with me being greedy, I'm trying to share the wealth as well. I'm trying to build this out and I'm trying to bring on as many people, talented people that I can, people who got ideas. And we can collaborate and we can build out something unique and something. It may not even have to be totally unique. It can just be a competing service against someone else. Because there's a lot out here for all of us to eat and I'm definitely trying to get my slice so if you are watching this video right now you take the time to visit the site and go ahead here and go ahead and subscribe to the site here so we can go ahead and get everything locked in you can get updates on the site when I start sending them out there's a lot to be done there is a lot of resources in this space here that we can take advantage of there's techers or things like that we can probably build that hasn't even been thought of yet but it all takes us it all takes the time for us to come together and discuss and collaborate on these ideas. All right, and one of the last things I want to talk about with Kryptonite World is one of the resources is providing resources for DeFi, decentralized finance. I'm going to go over further what decentralized finance is in, in different videos if you don't if you don't know what it is. But then also centralized finance. And one of these things that I want to put out here is ways for people to earn interest on their crypto. I know a lot of us who are in crypto right now, we have crypto that's just sitting around that we're hodling, basically we're holding on to, and we don't want to sell it. And one of the best ways, if you are holding on to it, best thing you can do with it is put it somewhere you can earn interest on that crypto. So I want to have a site up to list these different platforms that, that provide you interest, either in DeFi or in CeFi. And one of the ones that I'm currently into right now that I'm just going to talk about is BlockFi. With BlockFi, you can earn up to 8.6% APY on your crypto. That's if you qualify. That's if you have a qualifying account. I do have Bitcoin, some BTC, and some Ethereum on BlockFi. On my Bitcoin, I'm earning 6.6% 6 uh, 6 APY, and on my Ethereum, I'm earning 4.5%.
That's a lot, actually. That's a hell of a lot. If you just have regular money sitting in your regular savings account, I talked about it in some other video I even posted on Facebook, that the average rate for a traditional savings account, which is fiat money, is 0.06%. That's hella low. Compared to you get with BlockFi, you're earning 6% on Bitcoin, 4.5% on Ethereum. So I think anybody can see that BlockFi is much favorable over just in the traditional account. So yeah, so if, if you are interested in BlockFi, I am going to post an affiliate link down in the description below. Uh, that will be there. So if you sign up with the description link, uh, once you deposit $100 worth of crypto into your account, you will receive an additional $10. So if you do have any questions for me or anything, definitely shoot me a message on Facebook. Also, you can come to CryptoNightWorld.com, go to the contact page here and leave me a message. I definitely try to respond back to you as soon as I can so we can try to build this thing out together so if you stuck around to the end of this video i do want to thank you very much uh it means a lot to me i am trying to figure out this whole youtube thing and become better at it create better quality videos uh do better editing but at this point you gotta have um, humble beginnings you gotta start from somewhere i delayed this for so long but i can't do it anymore so if you stuck around to the end of the video like i said i just appreciate it but with that guys i want to thank you again and if you haven't already i uh, like the video please go ahead and do that subscribe also if you haven't and also go over to crypto night world and subscribe to the site if you haven't done it already either catch you guys in the next video